Now it's on a sharp angle. Heading 14, heading 17. The siren any moment now as Alexander flicks it behind. Chance for Reese from Adel. In goes Rogers. Hand passes over the top. Laidley's got it. Proud roar. Laidley around the outer side. Martin's got it. West Perth are going to win it, I think. Fong in real trouble. Nisham. Nisham feeds the hand pass to Holt. Can he get a running goal? 50 metres out, Holt. Long one to Main Waring. Duckworth took him high. Main Waring free kick. Siren's gone. Main Waring will kick on goal from 30 metres out, and the agony is etched on the face of every West Perth player. The crowd is spilling onto the ground. Police are going out to try and restrain the crowd. John Wynn has turned his back. He's walking around the boundary. He can't watch. Main Waring kicking to keep the record intact and the crowd acting very responsibly and backing away from the action. Well, I suppose the West Perth supporters could be forgiven for going and standing on the mark. And Chris Mainwaring is showing experience for a young man. He's going to take his time and kick it when he's ready. And of course, we think back if he misses this to the controversial goal at half time. Mainwaring. He's only 35 metres out. Slight angle. The West Perth players giving Maine Waring a lot of advice, as is Murray Renstead. And I feel for this young man. One kick now. 18-14, he's from out. 18-17, West Perth. Chris Maine Waring to kick on goal. And the West Perth players are being ushered away. And one wonders if that's worth 15 metres. Chris Maine Waring has missed, West Perth have won, West Perth have won. What a classic game of football. Well, the picture tells the story. That was the one West Perth needed to win. And I thought, over the full four quarters that they were the better side, West Perth.